One of the new features in NeuroSolutions version 6.0 is the addition of the input projection algorithm. The input projection maps the input data from a high dimensional space to a low dimensional space without losing too much information. This allows your networks to run faster since it occupies fewer inputs and still produces the same or better results. For this example, we will compare two multilayer perceptron networks, one with input projection enabled and one without. I went ahead and set up the multilayer perceptron without the input projection component and trained it accordingly. Where if we look at the save weights, the best save weights are roughly 0 0.0477 after 112 epochs. Now let's go ahead and create a multilayer perceptron with the input projection component enabled by launching the neural builder. For this example, we will be using credit screening data that is available with our neural network course data in the interactive book that contains 45 inputs and two desired outputs. On the training data screen, you'll notice the input projection algorithm drop-down menu that is located on the right hand side that contains several options including the principal component analysis, m-dimensional scaling, k-means clustering, locally linear embed, and self-organizing maps. For this demonstration we will simply use the principal component analysis and leave the default set to 50 percent for the output dimension. On this next panel, we're going to browse to our desired output data. Click Next. We're going to use 10% of the data for cross-validation and 10% for testing, which is the same as the original multi-layer perceptron. For the number of hidden layers, we will stay consistent with our original breadboard, which is just one hidden layer, but we're going to change to stay consistent, the learning rule to Levenberg Marquardt. Choosing the defaults for everything else and build. For this breadboard, I'm going to go ahead and add a few probes so that we can see what the new input projection algorithm is actually doing. First, we're going to attach a matrix viewer to the input projection component on the activity access point, which will display the reduced number of inputs or 50% of the original 45 inputs. Next, we're going to attach a matrix viewer to the file component, which will show us our original 45 inputs. Let me go ahead and scale down the screen here. will show us our entire 45 inputs. So let me go ahead and temporarily close out of these windows and let's start the simulation. The simulation trained pretty quickly, roughly in about the same amount of time as the original multi-layer perceptron did, but let's go ahead and take a look at the saved error by opening up the properties of the error criterion. The saved error on the breadboard with the input projection algorithm is roughly 0 0.042. And let's go ahead and switch over to the other breadboard. And look at the properties and we can see that the save error is 0 0.047. So by adding the new input projection algorithm, we improve the performance of the network since there are much fewer network weights, thus making the network less prone to overfitting on the training data. In addition, it reduced the dimensionality of the inputs by 50%, which will improve the computation time in using the solution in a real-world application. This is only one of the great new features in NeuroSolutions version 6.0.